Hi, this is Ryan Lalone from TheWolf.ca and Peterborough's Best Rock the Wolf 101.5 FM. And I am pleased to present In Conversation with the Spades and Friends. You had just finished opening for Matt Good. You play some places like, I guess, Massey Hall. You got to play for the first time. What's the story of the Spades since then? What have you guys been up to? You know, it's really been mainly focusing on the album itself and kind of getting it to where it is today, which is uh, actually manufactured and here. This is your third album. Uh, the first couple albums, there's a lot of personal writing for you. Is this album uh, the same? Would you say it's more just about getting the songs out? Um, it's always, for me, felt really personal. I, I, I'm kind of a true believer in uh, if you don't feel like you're uh, expressing something of yourself, then it's I, I find it hard to perform those tunes. That's also why I've never been great at doing cover songs. Uh, but with this one, I, I really feel like there's um, something that, that maybe the other two didn't quite have as much of, which is just a continuity between the songs. Um, I started to look at them after words and kind of realized there's, there's kind of a continuum there for me of uh, emotions. And it's kind of a cool thing and that uh, they kind of run together, I guess. It's just a fluke. Yeah. Joining us on the phone, Gord Sinclair of the Tragically Hip. Hey, Gord, thanks for joining us. Hey, fellas, it's my pleasure. Now, Gord, how did you originally get hooked up with the Spades? I was out uh, having a couple pops with a with a buddy of mine, and we we went down and checked it out, and I and I really dug it right away. And, you know, these guys are uh, they give off a great vibe. You can tell that they uh, they care about each other and they care about the music that they're playing, and 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 you know the relationship uh, kind of defines the way they make the music and. Seriously, it's been fun being a part of the part of the ride. And it's the first time for us where we've sort of handed something off, and I was wondering, you know, how you felt about the experience and kind of the the end result, what we got back. Well, I, you know, in terms of the end results, I'm thrilled with uh, with the way they came back. Um, you know, we. Uh, I, 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 we worked pretty hard. I like to think when we were making making the record. I mean, we we uh, really would focus on one song at a time and really turn uh, turn over every stone to make sure we got it just just the way we wanted. And I was really happy when we got Gordy's mixes back. That he uh, he certainly stayed right to the spirit of the recording. And like I say, I, I've known him for a while now, and uh, I don't think we could have hooked up with a better guy. Gordy Johnson, welcome to the studio. You've done a lot of work recently with young bands. Yeah, the Spades. Peter Burroughs owned the Spades. How'd you yeah. get hooked up with those guys? Well, that was a Joel Plaskett recommendation. Joel had recommended them to me. I went to see Joel in Toronto, and he had this band from Peterborough opening for him, and I got to catch the end of their set, and I was like, what was that? the hell what was that enormous racket i just heard met the guys nice cats it was a spade Ed Ford Sinclair produced some stuff for them and they need somebody to mix it. I was like, well, send, send me a track. Let me see. So I, I threw everything I had at it, man. Are you kidding? I, they sent that audio <laughs> down to Texas and I put the, yeah. I had James in here the day the, the pressing came out and he and I sat down and listened to it together for the first time. And he pointed out instances that were strictly you, such as the backward hi-hat coming in in Johnny Laundry. <laughs> and he just pointed out a big smile on his face and said, that's Gordy Johnson. It feels like some type of exorcism or something that, that just was 
you know, unstoppable in the studio. We just, these lyrics started coming to my head. <laughs> it's pretty sonic. It's uh, almost like if uh, Josh Holm had produced uh, Helter Skelter. It's kind of how I've been describing it around the station. You know, drawing people in from, from Victoria over to, to Halifax. And I think this is just going to solidify uh, what they're doing. I mean, I, I think this is by far the strongest uh, collection of songs that they put together. And, and that's only going to help spread the word. You know, I'm, I'm really excited for them. They, they should be really, really proud. They've written a great record and it sounds awesome and um, I, th I think it's going to do good things for them.